most interested in telling? Like, I know you talk about the Harlem Renaissance and stuff in interviews. Yeah, I mean, also, I just got this new candle yesterday, and I'm very into it. Oh. I can't. Can you see the name of it? Fuck. No. What is it? Um, oh, okay. It's called, it's called uh, Koki Koki. Um, C-O-Q-I, C-O-Q-I. I'll send you one. Um, oh it's God. very yummy. But, um, but the, for me, I think that like so much of American history is really exciting. And I think the difficult thing about being a black writer and looking at all those different parts of history is that like, I'm not saying that like anyone else didn't have a stressful time in history, but I'm saying that like, <laughs> when you're a person of color or queer, Oh, <laughs> babies. But when you're a person of color or queer and you try to think of like, what were like the hip hop popping times in history? Like very few of them are like pretty great. You know, it's like if you're a queer person in the 1920s, it's like, yeah, you could have gone to like some of those like swinging um, orgies in the Weimar Republic, but you also would have been like a gay person in Germany right before the Holocaust, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think the same thing is true when you 